Okay, so welcome back for another tutorial here. We're going to take a look at creating a turn-based um, combat system for an RPG. So in this case, I'm, I'm using the rule system from Rifts. Uh, I thought that might be a little bit of a challenge. So um, let's take a look here. Uh, we've just got our, our event sheet. And we'll take a look at how I'm setting this up. It's pretty simple how I'm, I'm creating the turn-based system to begin with. Uh, basically, and, and these are just placeholder graphics, so later on in the video we'll, we'll take a look at replacing them with some, uh, some half-decent graphics. But I first just wanted to test out to see if I could get the system to work, and then figured if, if it does, I'd, I'd plug some graphics into it after. So in the meantime, we got a bunch of uh, rectangles. So. Anyways, uh, player one is a juicer. Sounds like an appliance, but it's uh, sort of a righted up super soldier. And player two is a Samus, and if you know Rifts, you know what those are. It's sort of a power armor unit. Um, a lot of, well, pretty much everything uh, to do with the characters is stored as an instance variable inside of, of, um, of the object. So you'd um, just store things like uh, their their hit points or riffs terms MDC um, initiative bonus uh, is a juicer so automatic dodge and um, and similar with the the Samus so the MDC is stored um, there are various other stats so uh, basically when uh, you start the layout what you do is um, you check to see whose initiative is greater so I just did it very simply here um, the Samus uh, has the lower initiative compared to the juicer so let's just run the layout so hit hit F5 to start it up and there we go so there's our, our very simplistic layout so click on begin and what that does is that's what causes the check to see whose instance variable the whose initiative variable is higher in this case the juicer so they've got six actions Samus has four so we'll go attack and the little little beam flies across uh, anything under a five is a miss in riffs so um, five to twenty is a hit so the juicer rolled under that so now the uh, the Samus gets to attack so click on attack and that was a miss as well so juicer attacks this is a hit so inside a rifts uh, character gets hit but then they get ch the choice to um, to dodge so in this case I'm gonna say no because if they dodge they use up an attack so I'll say no and so player two takes damage they took five points of damage they're now down to 395 player two attacks again this time the auto dodge so it would have been a hit but the auto dodge kicked in juicer dodged but the juicer doesn't use up any actions by dodging so attack again hit yes or no dodge I'm gonna say yes this time and um, and that's where you sort of take a gamble because an action was used up but the dodge was also unsuccessful so they're now down to 385 now Samus attacks and another miss. Samus is now at zero actions. Juicer has three actions left, so basically the Juicer just gets to attack. And the Samus doesn't get any sort of um, option to dodge. So attack again, attack, and a miss. So uh, end of the round. They're both down to zero actions. Um, juicer didn't take any hits. If the Juicer had taken one hit, it was pretty much going to be the end of them. Although with the new or the newer um, Rifts rule set, I guess that that doesn't happen. You get kind of a death door feature, like with uh, with something like um, Darkest Dungeon, where you get reduced below zero and you get knocked back up to one point, but then you take one more point of damage and then you die. Um, I didn't really incorporate that here but uh, but yeah that's the basic idea of it I think I did put at least the instance for yeah I've got a, a death's door instance variable there um, for the character I just didn't incorporate it inside of the event sheet yet so as far as globals go I have a d20 global and if you're a program you're probably shaking your head at me right now if you haven't already been shaking your head at me um, basically every second uh, the the d20 is uh, is rolling in the background 
Um, so it's set to a, a random number between 1 and 20 and that gets used in these various rules here so when one player or the other attacks you check the d20 roll and if it's greater than or equal to 5 then it counts as a hit if it's under 5 it counts as a miss and uh, on a 20 that's a critical um, and actually I don't have it fixed I, I've got it fixed in the next uh, layout that I'll show you don't have it fixed here because I don't have the the number rounding off uh, so a 20 essentially never gets rolled. It, it hits every decimal before 20, but it would take, you know, a million rolls or more to actually get a, a, a complete 20. Fix, again, I fixed that in the next sheet here. So, um, so yeah, so I got the basics of it. It's very simple, um, but it, it works for the most part. So now what I'm going to do is uh, here is things a little bit um, looking a little bit better. I did these characters a while ago. I didn't know I'd be be using them inside of this video, but uh, I guess that's just a lesson to, you know, create as much stuff as you want, um, and then you can find a a reason for it down the road. The background though is new. I painted that in Krita. Just downloaded some water watercolor brushes. I kind of had the old Spider-Man cartoons in mind. Um, from the 1970s they had those fantastic watercolor backgrounds um, <laughs> uh, maybe the rest of the art wasn't so fantastic but anyways so uh, yeah it's the exact same setup I just plug these graphics on top so let's let's run the setup and there we go so we start juicer gets to go first attack it's a hit now lasers in riffs and in real life you can't actually see them so <laughs> yeah that's that's disappointing for the inner child and all of us but uh, uh, but they're invisible and so I'm just gonna say dodge no and it creates the fireball effect with uh, some smoke in the background now the the Samus has a couple of plasma cannons so you're gonna see those because plasma you could actually see so there's white hot beams player one auto dodge so attack another hit attack back another auto dodge um, I tried to dodge that time it wasn't successful and for some reason it subtracted two actions rather than um, rather than just one so I don't know if that's a problem with what I've done or a problem with construct but anyways the juicer just gets to hammer on the Samus now. And there we go. End of the round. Samus is down to 360. Juicer's at full health. But again, one hit could have just taken out that juicer. Or two hits, I guess, technically. So, yeah, thanks for watching. So, th just a quick tutorial here just to show you how it can be set up. Um, quite easily to do turn-based system actually um, I'll just point this out before I go to get that critical hit working uh, because I wasn't rounding off the the d20 roll I just set it to a 19.5 that actually qualifies as a or, or substitutes as a d20 or a natural 20 roll so from time to time you get those critical hits that way so thank you very much for watching and uh, I will be back with another video in hopefully uh...